All right, hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be going over 20 hero tips and secrets for new and returning players. Now this goes from everything from beginner tips to also some things in the game that you guys might not know, but this is solely based for hero gameplay. So between heroes versus villains, hero showdown, galactic assault and capital supremacy, all of these tips and secrets are going to help you guys out. So with that said, let's jump into the video. Be sure to smash a like if you guys enjoy, and if you're brand new to the channel feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications anyways getting into number one it is the fastest way to level up heroes which is going to be in co-op now for those heroes that are available in co-op this is probably the quickest way to level them up as it's very easy to get kills and you get a good amount of experience obviously playing during double xp and triple xp events is going to add to that as well and then for those heroes that aren't available in co-op definitely jump into heroes versus villains to level up those that aren't available in co-op the second tip i'm going to be talking about is your sensitivity now for me i personally play on 55 soldier sensitivity however when i play in hero modes like heroes vs villains or hero showdown i bump my sensitivity all the way up to 80. now i know people that lightsaber duel with 100 sensitivity but me personally i think that's a little bit too high for what i'm used to so i go to 80 and it definitely helps me with 1v1 duels you guys will see that on the channel and on instagram a lot that i do 1v1s this definitely helps me with a higher sensitivity being able to turn so i can hit my enemy in the back real quickly this is a big help for me. The third tip I'm going to be talking about is actually a secret for Boba Fett and this is the double damage with his melee attack. Now if you take a look at the inserted clip in the background you will see a Boba Fett arcade gameplay where I'm actually going up against an enemy and you can see some of the hits are doing 10 damage but some are actually doing 20 damage so there is a way to get double damage for Boba Fett's melee and you pretty much just have to be in the perfect range for it to hit so if you're too close or too far away you're only going to do 10 damage but if you are right in that sweet spot in the middle you are going to cause double damage with the melee moving on to number four is yoda can actually use his presence without having the animation activated you can do this by using the dash ability and presence at the same time so for me when i'm playing i use the dash attack and activate presence while he's in the dash animation which cuts out the animation for presence so you can get that health regen if you're on the escape or attacking someone and you can pretty much increase your survivability while you're still moving and get that extra extra health back so it's a really useful tip for anyone that's looking to improve with Yoda. Number five is for General Grievous and that's the Claw Rush Stomp. Now if you guys are wondering what I mean by the Claw Rush Stomp this is when you're playing as General Grievous and you activate his Claw Rush ability new players might not know that you can actually hit enemies twice with this ability. This ability does one shot all infantry except for heavies and officers with the lineup weaklings card equipped however if you guys are going up against a heavy it's not going to one shot them. So with this tip you can actually kill a heavy with one use of the claw rush so what you're going to do is you're going to activate the ability and right as you make contact with the enemy you're going to deactivate the ability causing grievous to stand up and as he stands up he stomps on the enemy with his foot causing extra damage which is great for taking out infantry that have been buffed or those heavy classes that have that little bit extra health moving on to number six is the perfect parry and i mentioned this in my tips and tricks video the other day but i thought i'd throw it in this one because it is very specific to heroes as well the perfect parry is pretty much just holding down the block button and then as soon as someone swings at you attack them back while still holding the block button this will cause your character to block their attack and get in a sneaky counter strike moving on to number seven which was also in the 50 tips and tricks video is that you can block and counter abilities from certain other heroes so things like Darth Maul's spin attack Ray's dash attack Kylo Ren's frenzy and a bunch of other attacks you can actually block this and still get a hit on your enemy so I'll insert a clip of me attacking Darth Maul while he uses his spin attack and landing a clean strike without taking any damage so that you guys can see how this works tip number eight is the vader choke combo and i'm sure you guys have all seen this before a lot of people use it in duels this is where vader uses the choke on an enemy jumps towards them turns around and throws his lightsaber this is a really good combination and you can see from a clip in the background just how much damage this can actually do so if you guys don't know how to do this make sure to try and practice it if you need to jump in arcade and practice it that's another good way to do it in split screen like i've done for the demonstration in the background tip number nine is the cancel damage dash strike or shoulder charge basically any ability like Han's shoulder charge raise dash strike or anything like that can be cancelled early by dashing away so if you guys are trying this and you're sort of in trouble or you're in combat and you're using this as an escape ability you can actually dash or roll out of it so for me when I play Han I like to move around as much as possible if I have enemies shooting at me from multiple directions I'll use the shoulder charge ability as an escape mechanism and 
and because I've got the broad shoulders card on, I get that damage reduction when it's activated. But then as soon as I see a corner, instead of trying to charge around the corner, I'll just roll through it. So it's definitely really helpful to keep yourself on the move and make yourself a harder target to hit for your enemies. Tip number 10 is for Captain Phasma, and that's that her turret can actually be detonated to cause damage on enemies. So one of the things I find with Captain Phasma when you're playing around her turret is heroes do tend to run straight in there. So for me, I like to stay around the turret, but if you get forced away from that turret and you know, for example, a Luke force pushes you backwards and he runs through your turret to come and attack you, if he gets stuck in that middle area, you can actually hold the R1 button to detonate Phasma's turret and it'll cause a decent amount of damage. So if you know they're low, this is something that might help you in the long run. Tip number 11 is countering Ray's mind trick. And I've found the best way to counter Ray's mind trick is to dash and jump up in the air. Now, for me personally, I like to use a dash, then a jump, then another dash, and then a jump. This just kind of keeps you on the move and keeps you out of the way. And every time Ray would probably get close enough to actually hit you, you're probably dashing or jumping away from her. So her timing is going to be a little bit thrown off. There's probably better ways to counter it, but I've found this way works best for me. The next tip is number 12, and it's going to be for Darth Vader. Now, when you use the star card for Darth Vader that increases the time that he chokes his enemies, there is one simple mistake that I see a lot of players making. And that's the mistake that they hold down the button to choke with Vader. Now, holding down the force choke button is actually going to cancel it much quicker than it's supposed to last. And you can see this from the gameplay in the background. If you just tap the ability, it will last much longer than if you were to hold the ability because holding down the R1 button or whatever button on your console or PC is attached to the choke, you guys will see that it drops the enemy early. So definitely don't want to be doing this if you want to maximize Darth Vader's choke. Sticking with chokes though, and this is a tip I actually only just learned recently. Number 13 is that Darth Maul can choke while he's jumping in the air. Now I know what you guys think, oh Darth Maul can't choke in midair, but there is a tip to doing it and I saw this used by Star Bazaar, so shout out to him. I actually didn't know this one, so it's really cool that I can include this on my list and if you guys haven't seen his channel, I will link it down below. But when you're jumping with Darth Maul, if you activate his middle ability just as you're about to land on the ground, he will still activate the choke early. So you can still be in the air and activate this choke. And I'll demonstrate it in the background with the gameplay for you guys, but it's something that's really effective. You could be jumping in the air and if an enemy goes to push towards you, you can catch them off guard by choking them before you've even hit the ground. So I think this is a cool tip and definitely one you guys probably want to try out. Tip number 14 applies to multiple different characters that have a rush or dash ability. Now, for me personally, I like to use the one strike and then dash combination. I use this with like Darth Maul, so I'll do one strike and then a spin, or Yoda, you use one lightsaber strike and then his dash attack. You use it with Luke, you do one strike and then his rush attack, and it's a one shot to all infantry, including heavies and officers. So not only does this kill the enemy that you're facing off against currently, it keeps you on the move so that you're not getting sprayed from another enemy, and it's just gonna make you that much harder to hit. Like I said, when playing heroes, you wanna stay as mobile as possible. You don't wanna stand still for too long and sometimes taking two to three lightsaber swings on someone depending if they're an infantry or a reinforcement can take up a lot of time so if you're standing still this entire time this little trick is going to keep you moving tip number 15 is to have low health patience when you're playing the game with low health it may seem smart to go and just attack enemies and hit them twice really quickly and try and get them out of the way well this isn't always the case if an enemy is actually facing you down doing two lightsaber strikes sometimes can be pretty dangerous especially if you're face to face with another enemy enemy that has something like a vanguard or they have infiltration activated or just a fast firing weapon. So what I've found is one saber strike and then hold the block button so that you spray their fire back into their face. This can be really effective so that you don't take too much damage because if you open yourself up with two lightsaber swings that gives them more time to land shots on you. So sometimes it's best just to deflect their own shots back at them and finish them off after that or with one hit first and then deflect into them to finish them. I find this works especially well on death troopers because because it does take three or four hits to actually kill them. If you hit them once or twice and then just deflect their blaster back to them, they have a really quick fire rate and it actually melts through them really quickly. So if you guys haven't tried that, definitely do so. Next up is number 16, and this is to jump swing after a knockdown ability, which is gonna pretty much propel yourself forward and possibly even get you behind your enemy. So I use this a lot when I'm lightsaber dueling if I'm playing as Luke or Obi-Wan or something like that. For example, if I'm playing as Luke and I use the repulse ability and I catch my enemy, 
enemy off guard and they land on their back. I'll run towards them, jump at them and swing my lightsaber in the air. And this kind of propels you forward a little bit quicker than if you were just running and attacking them. So kind of speeds up the animation a little bit and can catch your enemy off guard, getting you that one extra hit, which sometimes can be all you need. Moving on to tip number 17 though, this is going to be the Chewie Quick Slam. Now, for those of you that don't know, Chewie's Charge Slam ability can be activated manually without having to do the run forward. The ability normally works in the way that you would run forward and then activate the ability again by pressing R1 a second time. Well, for those of you that didn't know, you can actually activate this immediately. For example, if you're surrounded by enemies and you need a quick slam, you can jump up in the air by just pressing X or A or spacebar and you can activate the ability while in midair for the jump and it will just slam straight down on the ground. This can be really effective and has gotten me out of trouble an absolute ton of times, so it's definitely a good tip to know for Chewie. Next up is number 18 and it's that Ray and Darth Vader's middle abilities can be activated while blocking, allowing you to do the animation and continue to not take damage. So I'm going to show both examples here down the bottom of Darth Vader and Rey. You can see I'm holding block with one character and the other is attacking furiously. I can activate the middle ability and not take any damage at all and I can do it vice versa on the other character as well. So both Rey and Darth Vader can have their middle abilities activated and not take any damage as long as you're still holding block. Tip number 19 is quite a simple one and it's don't be a swing spammer. Use your stamina wisely and think about how many lightsaber swings you're taking when you're up against a certain enemy. So if you're playing Galactic Assault and you know you're up against infantry, two lightsaber swings is all you're going to need to take them out and you want to do this and be very patient with your swings. The last thing you want to do is swing furiously at someone and keep wasting all of your stamina. That way when a lightsaber hero or blaster hero turns around the corner, they can pretty much just melt you down to nothing. So use your stamina wisely, don't be a swing spammer. And last but not least is Yoda's stored unleash power. Now for those of you guys that know Yoda's unleash ability and you would have seen this in the tips video, you can charge it up and you can see how charged it is in the bottom right corner. Well, this isn't the only secret to this ability. The secret with this ability is that when blasters fire at Yoda and you absorb them, yes, this ability does drain out pretty quickly and you'll see that in the background. However, when this is a force ability, for example, Emperor Palpatine's lightning or Darth Vader's choke or Kylo Ren's freeze or anything like that, any type of force ability used against Yoda, the energy stored from that actually stays with Yoda for as long as you need. So you can use this again later. It's going to stay stored up. That way you can absorb it. And when an enemy does show up, if you escape from that, you can then push them with a fully stored unleash ability. So guys, this has been 20 tips and secrets for heroes that you guys may not have known. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. There was a lot of stuff in here that was probably simple to most of you, but I figure for newer players, that's going to help you guys out. And there was also some different tips and secrets that you guys might not have known if you guys are even experienced players as well. So if you enjoyed, leave a big thumbs up, comment down below what you guys thought of this video and who your favorite hero is to play currently. I am going to get out of here though. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. I will see you in the next video and may the force be with you always. Thank you.